ADI's mission is to provide solutions for the physically challenged with innovation, fusing advanced technology into the mobility industry and maintaining the highest commitment to quality in order to best fulfill the needs of those we serve in the disability community. Todd Hargroder is a quadriplegic who both lives and studies the accessibility industry and its needs. On June 11th, 1986, my life changed forever. I was out at a motocross track uh, practicing on a racetrack that I've ridden thousands of laps before and it was actually the first lap of practice that evening and I was going actually slow over this one jump and just kind of hopped up on the top of it and the jump was changed a little bit and I went over the bars. As soon as I hit the ground I knew things were, were going to change, and uh, laying there, I mean, I knew that I was, uh, you know, life had changed for me. Throughout and since Todd's rehabilitation process, he experienced numerous frustrations with both the quality and functionality of equipment available for use by people dealing with a disabling condition. From that moment on, I spent almost 10 months in and out of rehab, and uh, it initially wanted me in a power chair. And I mean, I worked hard to, to learn to, to push, to, to build my strength. Uh, when I was first injured, I could barely touch my nose. I remember days where I'd just push maybe five feet and be dead tired. Finally, one day, I was able to push all the way to rehab. ADI presently encompasses over 4,000 square feet of space for research, development, and production purposes. This space includes design, fabrication, assembly, and business offices. ADI's fabrication shop is outfitted with the range of equipment necessary to enable this facility to take concept drawings and quickly fabricate prototypes, as well as finished product. The assembly shop consists of a clean, well-lit area that houses product assembly stations, product inventory, hardware bins, and tools required for assembly. This area also facilitates final product cleaning, inspection, and packaging stations. Well, as a guy in a chair, I design product for users, and this is just not a job for me. I mean, this is a life. I live this stuff. And I started in 1990. My first product was a transfer board. At that time, we sold maybe three or four a month. Now we sell well over 300 boards a month. I uh, took a long transfer board that I was given in rehab and shortened it down to 21 inches, put some different non-slip material on it, and that made all the difference uh, as far as being able to transfer independently or not. Because I knew I wanted to, to drive a vehicle from a driving seat, so that was one of my first big goals was being able to transfer and it took me many years to be able to, to transfer independently and, and the transfer board was uh, with the non-slip material on the bottom was the key to being able to, to, to independently transfer in and out of my driving seat. In rehab I was issued several products that were uh, didn't work. Pushing transfer gloves. Uh, the gloves were a product that I've used for many years, being a C5-6 quadriplegic. I really need the gloves to protect my hands for turning and transferring and whatnot. I used to use gloves from another manufacturer, and this was uh, years ago. I made some suggestions to that manufacturer, but uh, they, they were not taken. So I decided to make my own gloves uh, that, that better fit my need with the thin grip material on the bottom side of the gloves. It's uh, helped my transfers as much as my push. When you're transferring on a leather or a cloth seat um, without any grip in your hands, 
it gets kind of slippery. So by having just a little bit of grip in the gloves, it really helps the grip for lifting up and sliding your body over. The rubber grip material also provides much needed hand placement stability when transferring. ADI's push and transfer gloves utilize an open finger design. This design allows users with limited hand function to easily don and doff the gloves. ADI has numerous products in various stages of R&D and or commercialization and continues to experience an increase in gross sales each year. I struggled with industry standard wheel locks for many years. When I saw disc brake technology go from the motorcycle industry to the bicycle industry, I uh, saw the opportunity to bring it to the wheelchair industry. When I design parts, I design them with the racer's mentality, trying to keep it clean and light and just the parts that are needed. Not a bunch of extra, not a bunch of plastic, not a bunch of, uh, mainly just being a minimalist, keeping things clean, light, and fast. The over center wheel locks is an archaic way of locking or braking a wheelchair. It's uh, dependent on tire pressure, on tire wear, and with a wheelchair disc brake, it's a mechanical advantage mechanism that allows you to, to have true deacceleration as well as a wheel lock dependent on tire pressure, tire condition, wet, snow, mud, you name it. It's a true wheelchair uh, braking system. Todd holds four U.S. patents related to disc brake technology. ADI has three versions of our wheelchair disc brakes. The electric brake system was the first system I developed and it's an electric actuator that uh, simultaneously locks the left and right side. Uh, I consider the electric brake system as the Cadillac of brake systems. It's effortless wheelchair braking. Uh, the variable brake system is uh, one of our second designs. It's a, a variable brake lever that locks the left and right side of the, the chair. It has four stages of braking force all the way down to a solid lock for transfers. And the parabrake system is a brake system that has a left and right side bicycle type brake lever that's mounted on the frame and it has a lock up push button so the individual with good hand function can uh, lock and do uh, safe and active transfers. ADI Seating Systems. Well, over the 25 years of, of being in a chair, I've seen uh, products for people with disabilities improve dramatically. Um, but you know, we're still we were missing style, and bringing you know nowadays more and more people are focusing, more companies are focusing on on bringing style and and lightweight and clean and cutting edge technology. I was a solid backrest user for several years, and uh, I, you know, it supported my trunk well, but just wasn't happy with the the weight and the uh, mounting hardware. So a friend of mine was building a race car and was using carbon fiber for the, the shell of the dragster. And I just knew I had to make something out of it. So we ended up making a, a mold for a single back and I built that for my chair. And then after we built the shell, we built some lightweight fixed mounting hardware and that turned into a product line. ADI has a full line of back supports in carbon fiber and aluminum. We offer five different heights and two different contours with three options of mounting hardware. The first mounting hardware we designed was for our carbon fiber back, which was a fixed hardware, stationary mounting, fixed positioning. And again, that was the first hardware that we had out on the market, but we had clinicians and therapists recommending or requesting our carbon fiber back with something that had more easily adjustable positioning hardware. So that's when we developed our adjustable fixed backs. AI product line is, is based on the fusion of cutting edge materials into the wheelchair industry. ADI is the first to use carbon fiber for seating components. Aircraft quality aluminum, carbon fiber, lightweight, sleek designs. 
all of ADI products are tested to meet or exceed industry standards. Our wheelchair disc brake system, our back supports, our mounting hardware, and our transfer boards. The ADI back supports have been independently tested by the University of Michigan and the uh, University of Pittsburgh Human Engineering Research Laboratories. We can take ideas, uh, prototype it, test it, and then be on the market within months. It's ADI's belief that the right equipment and assistive technology components can positively impact and alter function and lifestyle when faced with a physically impairing situation. ADI continues to develop new products. We have uh, products in the mobility industry as well as outside of the mobility industry under develop and R&D stages. ADI will continue to grow with the support of our independent sales reps throughout the United States and our international distributors throughout the world. ADI has a proven track record of developing cutting-edge mobility products and aligning them with the appropriate markets. Um, we are one of the very few, if only, companies solely owned by a wheelchair user. So all of our products are designed for and by people in chairs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,